We're staying in our modifying objects.dwg file and we've now finished editing our hot desking area. So we're going to double click on the wheel to zoom extents, like so. And we're going to zoom in on the entrance hall area now here. So get that nice and central on the screen like so. And just pan upwards a little bit just so you can see the double doors there. But also you want to be able to see that grand piano as well. What we're going to do now, we're going to use grips and grip editing to tidy up the entrance hall area. It doesn't really look like an entrance of a company at the moment. It's all a bit mishmash. So let's kind of tidy up the sofas, the table, the piano. Now, these are all blocks. So if I select the piano, there's the grip in the center. I click on the grip like so. And I'm going to bring it down here near the windows and the doors so that when people walk in through the double doors, they see this grand piano and they think, hmm, that looks nice. So we click there like so. But it's kind of facing the wrong way. So with it still selected, if you select that grip and right click, you can select rotate like so. Now you'll notice I can rotate this through 90 degree increments at the moment. But the good thing is, in the middle of any command, I can jump down to polar here on the status bar and set that to 45 degree angle increments instead. And then if I just bring that around to that 45 degree line there and click, you can see it's facing the doors. I can then click on the grip again and just move it back slightly this way, click there and hit escape to deselect. So now it's not imposing on this door opening here and it's not imposing on this door opening here. But when people walk in, I see a nice grand piano. Let's select the coffee table now here. I'm going to click on this grip here and I can right click and move using the grip edit tools on the shortcut menu. And I'll bring that down here near the window and also near the door here and just hit escape a couple of times. That can be our literature table with some magazines and perhaps some PR literature about the company itself. Now the sofas are looking a bit sort of straight onto the doors at the moment. So what we can do here is we'll click on this one, click on the grip again, make the grip hot, right click and move. So we're using the move with the grips. So I'm going to take it up a little bit and click there like so. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to utilize that 45 degree increment polar tracking. So I select the grip again, right click and I rotate using the grip editing and take it this way at 45 degrees going up this 45 degree angle here like that. Hit escape to deselect it. When you're using the grip editing tools, always deselect once you've finished. Otherwise it could end up part of a selection set elsewhere and then you might possibly do a move or a copy and it moves and copies when you don't want it to. So we'll do the same with the three seater sofa. We'll select it click on the grip, right click, just move it up vertically ever so slightly to there, click there, and again, click on the grip, right click and rotate. Using the 45 degree angle increments, click again, like so, and then just hit escape to deselect. So now what you've got is an entrance area where when people come through the double doors, they can see the coffee table with the literature. They can see the sofas to sit on, in the entrance area if they're waiting for somebody or waiting for an appointment. You've also got the nice feature there of the piano, which is a nice enhancement in the entrance area for the company. And also, if you need to have a brief meeting with more than one person, you've got some little circular tables with some chairs around them there as well. And that's all just utilizing the grips and the grip editing tools on the right-click shortcut menu in AutoCAD.